this very dark tree that's right here, that is what we're going to be shining on. Now, right where I'm standing is right at 50 yards. I'll zoom in a little bit more. It's about 50 yards from where I'm at. So it's very, very good distance. You're really gonna be impressed, I think, with the flashlight goes. Welcome back, guys. Today, we're gonna be doing a video on the flashlight that I was talking about in another flashlight video. Now, this flashlight is from Ace Beam. They did send this to me. This is not a paid review. This is a review if I thought that it was a good enough beam. And I will say that, you know, this is a pretty decent flashlight. I really like the fact that, and I'm gonna show you here in a minute, that if your, if your batteries go dead while you're using this and you don't have the way to charge it, you can dump the batteries that are in here, the rechargeable ones, put double A's in there. So it's multifunctional. Now, this is not the brightest flashlight in the world. All right, I'm not gonna lie to you. They've got a lot brighter ones, obviously. This is the one that they wanted me to review as a start to see if I like their flashlights because I told them I've never heard of Ace Beam. Anyway, so I took it out and I've used it a few times. Actually, probably I've, I've used it almost enough to discharge the battery and I went ahead and I charged it up because tonight I want to take this out and I want to do a video in the woods and uh, I may take you there before. I'll, probably, I'll go ahead and take you there before so you can see where I'm gonna be showing you now. Let's go ahead and open this up and see what you get. Like I said, this is not a high dollar light. It's about 40 bucks, I believe. You get what you pay for. This is a good $40 flashlight. You know, most of these high output flashlights are coming down in price and this is no, no different. I was pretty impressed with it. Now you get the flashlight, obviously. I'm gonna put the box and stuff away. You get your flashlight, which is, it feels very, very good in your hands. I will say that. Feels good, it's it's slim in your pocket if you wanna carry it in your pocket. I do like that, how slim it is. Uh, or your shirt pocket, because it's about the right weight for a shirt pocket. Any more than this, I weight-wise anyway, I believe you probably would not want to put it in your pocket. So let's talk about the weight of this. So it says it's about 85 grams or three ounces. And without the battery in it, it's about 42 grams or 1.5 ounces. So like I said, it's, it's about the right weight anymore, I believe, just like I said, wouldn't be good. Let's talk about that light output. You can put it on high, it goes 600 lumens for 35 seconds. And then it goes to 360 lumens for one hour and 44 minutes. And then low is 20 lumens for 23 hours. All right, that's with the battery that it comes with. With alkaline, you can go 300 lumens for 35 seconds, three hours and 13 minutes on 100 lumens, and 50 lumens for 28 minutes. When I said it goes to three to 100 to five, if you don't know what that means, basically when you turn it on, and that goes for the battery that's in it also, the rechargeable ones I'll show you. Uh, when it turns on, it'll shoot that beam, that full intensity, for like, let's just say if you have alkaline in here for uh, 35 seconds. So you have the full 300 lumens on alkaline for 35 seconds basically. Same with the um, lithium ion, you have 600 lumens for 35 seconds. So anyway, not a whole long time, but it, you know, if you need to shine somebody or something in the woods or on the street or whatever, or really need to have that intense beam, you've got it for you know at least that long. But I would tell you, if you know anything about flashlights, 300 lumens, it's pretty daggum bright anyway. This is a 600 lumen output light. It's waterproof down to two meters. It has a 519A high CRI90 5000K LED bulb. Let's talk about the innards of this. You get your charger, you get the battery, and this is the way you take the battery off because I was a little confused. I didn't read the directions like most people don't. I just tried to pull the tail cap off, but that is not how this flashlight works. You actually unscrew it from the head. And then there's your battery. And you charge it right here. So you plug your little charger in here. Of course, it doesn't come with the box. Nothing anymore does. You plug it in, plug it into your wall or your box, and boom, there you go. That's all you need to do. And it charges up. 1600 milliamp battery. Pretty fantastic, guys, for what this is. Now, I'm not trying to say this is the best flashlight. This is the only flashlight that I recommend because it's not. I do like it. I think it's a very nice pocket flashlight, and I like the color. Now, the only thing about the color that I think is personally, if you're taking this in the woods, it's not the right color. <laughs> I mean, because if this falls down the leaves, especially in the springtime or what have you, or in your grass or whatever, if it's high grass, you're probably not gonna find it again because this green is just gonna blend right on in. So that's all I can say about this. I wanna take this guys outside and I'm, I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna go ahead and just go and 
ride my bike on out to the woods real quick and show you guys where we're going to be filming tonight and then we'll come back here a little later on this evening and we'll finish this video out all right we have made it outside guys this is a beautiful spot before i do the videos it'll be way over there but today we're not going to do them we're going to come here to the woods because i want to show you guys how incredible that this actual flashlight shows in the woods now obviously this is a pocket flashlight so you're not going to be you know shining hundreds and hundreds of yards it does excellent let me tell you i've had it in my pocket for a long time and i i mean you know when they reached out to me like i said before i was kind of like eh, i'm not so sure but the more that i carried it the better it got and you know for the price of them i think it's a pretty fantastic light guys look at behind me isn't this just just gorgeous and everything's starting to green up you know winter time is on well pretty much over so without further ado let me show you what the flashlight looks like out here uh, i'm going to show you i'm going to come right back to the same spot i'm going to flip the camera around here i'm going to show you guys real quick uh come here we're going to shine now where i'm standing to where i'm going to be showing you guys is roughly about 50 yards and this is about a good distance for this flashlight you're going to see it tonight it's going to be pretty fantastic so ace beam i recommend them so check us out up here and then uh we'll see you back here in All just right. a few hours this very dark tree that's right here that is what we're going to be shining on now right where i'm standing is right at 50 yards i'll zoom in a little bit more it's about 50 yards from where i'm at so it's very very good distance you're really going to be impressed i think with the flashlight because i mean realistically you're not going to be shining you know hundreds of yards like i mentioned you know you just want to make sure that you can see what if there's a person if you're carrying it for that reason or if you just need to shine if you're camping it's a very good camping light like i mentioned before i'll see you back here tonight and you're going to see pretty fantastic light guys all right, let's go ahead and start this uh, test. We'll do the, the low first. And you can see it shines good enough with the ace beam on low. Let's put it on high. And now you can really see. It's pretty amazing as you can, I hopefully you can definitely tell. And the tree is straight in front of us. I'm looking in the camera and I can see it just barely, but it's there and it's very well lit up here. We are back now and what do you guys think about this light? Be honest, leave me a comment down below if you thought it was a pretty fantastic light. Like I said, you know, it is what it is. It's a small light. You know, you're not shining, you know, for hundreds and hundreds of yards with this thing because it's not made for that. It's made for up close and personal. And then, you know, if you're walking down a street, maybe, you know, across the street, if you see a perpetrator or whatever, or your dog, you're trying to look for it, you know, you can, you can shine it, you know. So I didn't really show you guys how to uh, go through the motions. So basically what you do is you... When you push the button halfway in, all right, that's, if you push it in and hold it, it locks it in. Now, if you don't like that beam, you can half press, see? See the difference it goes? And if you like that beam, you, you push the button in. So that's how that works. You push the button in a little bit, and if you like it, you leave it. And then turn it off, you just press half in. So I'm just barely pressing. When you hear the click, that's when you know it's locked in. There'll be a link down below for my Amazon store if you want to purchase this or you take a look at it you know it might be worth it if you're just looking for a little pocket shirt flashlight so anyway i have a, a pile more flashlight videos if you guys want a better throwing longer i mean high intensity light i have a video for that i'll leave that at the end of this video if you guys want to watch that it'll be coming up at the very end check it out uh it's a different brand through night it's the one that i really like i do like ace beam don't get me wrong uh, i'm not sponsored by any of these companies you know i carry o light and through night and Potentially, I'd be carrying this one in my shirt pocket at work. If you like what you see, guys, and you want to see more, make sure you like and subscribe. God bless, and we'll see you on the next one. Have a great day.